school choice and adequate funding were both major topics of conversation with North Alabama superintendents at the state of school, so excuse me, state of the school system address. Our Jasmine Bird spoke with the superintendents and we hear their opinions on the matter. Right now, some of the challenges, of course, is dealing with funding, providing a quality education for all students. Huntsville City Schools Superintendent Dr. Clarence Sutton believes at the end of the day, it's all about the students. So we have to be strategic how we look at funding, partnerships, and dealing with the state legislature, um, with the Literacy Act, Numeracy Act, and also with school choice. So right now, we're taking all those challenges and trying to address them and do what best for students. I'm hopeful that the conversation today with the superintendent panel gave them more insight into what's really happening with school choice and how it impacts public education. Madison County School Superintendent Kenneth Kubik says as it relates to the Choose Act program or school choice bill, he is not against private parochial education. Funding uh, public education appropriately is what really needs to happen. We have all these mandates that come down and all these needs that we have and we need to be funded appropriately before you start giving money to private and parochial schools. The Choose Act program would provide up to $7,000 per child enrolled at an accredited participating private or public school through an education savings account funded by a refundable income tax credit. Madison City School Superintendent Dr. Ed Nichols believes fairness is key. I think if you take the public's money and you put it somewhere that's not in the public education system, uh, then they ought to meet the same criteria. And uh, people talk about, well, we need more competition. I'm all for that. I think competition is great. Uh, but third grade teachers in Madison City Schools and third grade teachers in a private school that get public funds should both be meeting the same criteria uh, so that we have transparency and accountability with the, with the public's money. In Huntsville, Jasmine Bird, Fox 54 News.